Hi, my name is Elias Lobin. I run a website called TrustedCoins.com. I'm a dealer of authentic ancient Greek, Roman, Biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. Every item I sell comes complete with a certificate of authenticity. The certificate of authenticity comes complete with a lifetime guarantee of authenticity. My signature, I've identified over 28,000 authentic ancient items and known worldwide as a numismatic and antique expert. Every item you purchase from me comes in a beautiful coin flip which has a short description of the item you purchased. So you could take this and carry it around with you, see? A beautiful picture of the coin, a professional description of the coin where in many times it cites a major reference or numismatic collection which you could further research and reference and things like that. And on the back is a historical context of the item you purchased. So even if you're brand new to this, I, I highly think you should consider checking this stuff out because this makes a great gift to yourself and others because you can learn a lot. Today I'm going to be talking about early Christianity and specifically the Cairo. The Cairo is a monogram of Jesus Christ, which is an amalgamation of the Greek letters H, X, R, which is an X and a Cairo. Basically, early Christianity, this is a coin of Magnentius, just as an example. And on the back, you would see the Cairo. You would see this on actually modern churches sometimes. See the X and the R. Christos. Christos, that's the ancient uh, Greek version of uh, saying it. And over here is the letters A and Omega. So, pretty much this explains that Jesus Christ when he said, I am the Alpha and I'm the Omega. I'm the beginning, I'm the end. So right now, I'm going to read you the history of the Cairo and how it pertains to Christianity and how Christianity was founded. This is going to be really interesting for you. The Cairo is one of the earliest forms of the Christogram and is used by the Christians. It is formed by superimposing the first two capital letters, Chi and Rho which is basically XP superimposing on each other. Of the Greek water, l word Christos equals Christ in such a way to produce a monogram. Although not technically a Christian cross, the Cairo invokes the crucifixion of Jesus as well as symbolizing his status as the Christ. The Cairo symbol was used by the Roman Emperor Constantine the Great as Vixilum, which is known as the Labarum, which is pretty much a big standard. They would have a standard with a symbol on it, so yeah. The Cairo symbol was also used by Greek scribes to mark in the margin a particular valuable or relevant passage. The combined letters Chi and Rho stand for Chreston, meaning good. This symbol was used in Rome by Emperor Constantine the Great. Constantine had a dream of being ordered to put a heavenly divine symbol, Latin, coeleste signum dei, on the shields of his soldiers, which is pretty much putting the, that symbol on the shields that his army had. When they put it that very day, Constantine's army fought the forces of Maxentius and won the battle of the Milvian Bridge in 312 AD outside Rome which is wonderful ancient sources credit Constantine Constantine's victory to divine protection a miraculous appearance came in Gaul long before the battle of the Milvian bridge the Roman Emperor had been pondering the misfortunes that before commanders they invoked the help of many different gods and decided to seek divine aid in the forthcoming battle of from the one God. At noon, Constantine saw a cross of light imposed over the sun. Attached it in Greek letters was the saying, you know, tof, 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 nika. Not only Constantine, but the whole army saw the miracle. That night, Christ appeared to the Roman Emperor in a dream and told him to make a replica of the sign he had seen in the sky, which would be a sure defense in battle. 
Labarum is the military standard which incorporated the Cairo sign used by Emperor Constantine the Great in his later wars against Licinius also. The use of a wreath around the Cairo symbolizes the victory of the resurrection over death and is an early visual representation of the connection between the crucifixion of Jesus and his triumphal resurrection. After Constantine, the Cairo became part of the official imperial insignia. Archaeologists have uncovered evidence demonstrating the Cairo was emblazoned on the helmets of some late Roman soldiers. That's rather interesting. Coins and medallions minted during Emperor Constantine's reign also bore the Cairo. By the year 350, the Cairo began to be used on the Christian sarcophagi and frescoes. The usurper Magnentius, which I showed you a coin of later, appears to have been the first to use the Cairo monogram flanked by Alpha and Omega letters on the reverse of his coins minted in 353 AD. So, fine coins of the, with the Cairo on them, I have many of them, you would really enjoy them, that pertain to early Christianity at trustedcoins.com and find out more. Thank you very much, have a nice day.